parenting. It can be the hardest job in the world, but so much of a person's future success hinges on the love, care, and support they receive as a child. Children need guidance and role models to ensure their health and safety and to reach their full potential. When children are neglected or are exposed to violence, they can become at-risk teenagers and adults, potentially dropping out of school and turning to crime and substance abuse. Children that see violence in the home, whether it is physical violence or perhaps yelling to resolve disputes, resort to that themselves with their peers. If families have a drug culture in their home or it's in the neighborhood, children are prone to go into the drug culture. If there's alcohol addiction or abuse in the home, you will find that also in children. So what you see in adult life is a reflection of what they experienced in their childhood. But these youths are not without hope. With the proper support, they can turn their lives around. While experts agree that a stable two-parent household is best, substitute arrangements can be just as successful. Youth for Tomorrow is a prime example. Founded by Hall of Fame Washington Redskins coach and NASCAR team owner Joe Gibbs, this residential school provides at-risk teenagers with the special education services and support needed to overcome their pasts and develop healthy, successful futures. I had actually been involved with some youth, and particularly uh, in downtown D.C., where they're being transitioned through the court system. And I really saw such a, a real need. The kids down there, if they weren't assigned to courts in some way, they were put back out on the street, really, is what happened. And what I took a look at was that they needed a, a year-round place to go, be loved, disciplined, and taught godly principles. Serving teenagers from around the Washington, D.C. area, Youth for Tomorrow provides the guidance and encouragement many of these students lack at home. The circumstances that led me to Youth for Tomorrow were a mixture of things. I was mischievous, I was rambunctious, I just always getting into trouble. I believe if I did not go to Youth for Tomorrow, I would definitely be down a road that I did not want to go down. And um, it's definitely, definitely improved my ability to carry on with my own life and, and have responsibility for my own actions and things of that nature. While at-risk youths can be saved from a bleak future, early action is key. We have an 84 to 87 percent success rate since our founding with children who come to Youth for Tomorrow. Success measured in the terms of either going to college, going into the military, going into the workforce, or reuniting with their families. So we prove, we can prove, that you don't want to give up on these children. There is good in every child that comes here. We have to find it. Located in Bristow, Virginia, Youth for Tomorrow has transformed thousands of teenagers headed for prison, addiction, and more. Heavily supported through private contributions, Youth for Tomorrow combines accredited education, counseling, and a strong spiritual component to save troubled teenagers from hopeless futures. The mission of Youth for Tomorrow is profound but simple. We bring children in here to teach them godly principles, to give them a quality education, and to make sure that they see a loving mother and father relationship in their household. And from that, we can redirect their behavior, we can encourage their faithfulness towards God, and we also find that they become very good students. At the heart of Youth for Tomorrow's success is its strong educational program. These dedicated teachers know that a high school diploma is key to a successful future. Here, students attend classes 12 months a year. Youth for Tomorrow is highly committed to educating their young people here. Education or academic success is extremely important to the staff and members of Youth for Tomorrow. We pay a lot of attention to assessing our young people when they first come to our facility and making sure that we clearly understand their deficits in mathematics and reading. And then we tailor our programs to ensure that we hone in on those, on those deficits and ensure that our teaching staff are aware of those deficits. So this allows for greater gains in, in academics in terms of reading and mathematics. Addressing the personal and spiritual needs is also a core component of Youth for Tomorrow's success. Students receive individual, group, and family therapy led by state-certified counselors. They also develop a moral compass thanks to the school's Christian component. 
Youth for Tomorrow has a full-time chaplain available to all students and staff for counseling. Youth for Tomorrow has recently introduced a program for teenage mothers, giving them housing, prenatal care, and child care so they can keep working toward a diploma. These elements have been pivotal in this nonprofit organization's proven record of success. I'm very proud. I think um, for me, uh, the only thing we're going to leave on this earth is going to be the influence we've had on others. God says clearly in His words, someday we're going to stand before Him, and the only thing that's going to be in front of us is going to be what we've done for Him. It's going to be the influence we've had on others, and I think this youth home is doing that. I think it's helping to prepare um, kids, uh, and really and truly for the 14 to 18 year olds, most people do not want to be involved with a kid that's that big, that's got problems. So I think it's a unique facility and I think we're changing young people's lives. Growing up like in Washington DC on the, um, on the northeast side, uh, in my neighborhood we just stole cars and that's just who we did. My change is if you for tomorrow has been in anger and maturity. And yeah, that's the thing, two things I think I've worked on the most. I think coming here has definitely been I definitely have moved in another direction because the direction I was going was just, a, I was just headed for self-destruction. I think people should contribute and give money to you for tomorrow because there's a lot of at-risk kids here. And if they wasn't here, they probably wouldn't be anywhere. They'd probably just be lost in the street somewhere or probably arrested somewhere. I feel like my life is headed in a better direction now that um, I'm done with YIT. I went in the military and I got out now I'm in the, the real world kind of. I definitely think that my life is a lot more on track than it would have been if I did not go to Youth for Tomorrow. I definitely have a lot of appreciation for the things that people at Youth for Tomorrow have done for me. They've always given me support even after I've been away from Youth for Tomorrow and I just want to thank all of them because they definitely have made a difference in my life. We have hundreds of children who are yet to come here, children yet unborn are in our future here at Youth for Tomorrow. Programmatically, specifically, we are looking for ways to serve any child and any adult who needs our services. There are three million people who live within an hour's drive of Youth for Tomorrow. We're here to serve them, whatever capacity they need. We can't do this unless we have an influx of funds every year to meet our budgetary needs. And yet, we don't have an endowment so what we have to do is raise four to five million dollars every year from the private sector and anyone who wishes to help us believe me we will be grateful for every dollar that goes to feed and clothe our children and to build facilities and to create and expand a program to meet their behavioral needs Youth for Tomorrow is made possible by the generous support of those who know that success starts in school and it's never too late to help a child in need. To help support us, visit our website, youthfortomorrow.org.